Okay, so can you tell us who you are and what we did today? Okay, my name is Cynthia and uh, we had Stella today, my um, four and a half year old thoroughbred born babe filly, um, getting her more comfortable to go on and off the horse boat. Okay, what was the history there with the horse boat? Um, had a scare when she was quite young yeah. um, in the float and so when she got that scare she reversed out quite quickly and in so doing lifting her head. Yep. And forevermore now, whenever we get her on, she goes on okay, but she rushes off and lifts her head and usually connects with the head and cuts her head and all sorts of things. Okay, okay, so yeah, quite dangerous. So the head throwing was a big thing. Did she rear? Yes. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, so did you did you have a bit of equipment there you're going to show us? Uh, yes, I yes. In order this. to uh, protect said horse, um, we um, managed to pick up this... Um, Protection, protection gear, so horse helmet. Ears through here and, of course, you know, trying to protect her head more yep. so that so she didn't get her... Um, Cynthia showed me this yesterday and I told her she had to wear it for the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't use it, did we? No. Okay, so tell us how it went. Uh, it went fantastic. So um, with Kate's help, um, Kate went on and, and started doing the very easy, you know, one foot at a time, breaking it right down. And we got to a point where she, Stella was still backing off and lifting her head. And when I explained to Kate, you know, that critical point when she gets four feet, one, two on the ramp, two on, in the float, that's the dropping of the hip is kind of when the head goes up. Yeah. So Kate managed to break that down yet again. And by the end of it, she was walking on and off without lifting her head. Yeah. And no use of the helmet. No, no, no. <laughs> Fantastic. Excellent. So what have you got to work on now? Because we didn't close it up and drive her anywhere or anything. So what's the next step? No, so uh, the next step for me is to similarly replicate what, what Kate's done today, what you've done today, yep. and, um, and to try and keep that calmness and to just do it in smaller batches and keep it going, yeah. um, basically. Okay. And, uh, and then I'll be guided by you as to when um, that time should come when we do lock and load and, yeah. and maybe move around and yeah. do all the rest of it. Great, great. And do you think the control of the emotional level was the most important thing? Or Absolutely. Think, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and, you know... Stella walked into the yard, saw the float, I'm not walking forward, had to encourage her to walk forward, got her to the float, you know, looking, that whole emotional level was yeah. definitely there, and by the end of it, you know, walking around like a puppy dog on a lead. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, keeping that all low certainly helped with the thinking process. Yeah. And how was your emotional level? Um, I probably should have had this on. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's interesting, having seen her hit her head a number of times yep. and fearing for her float and handler, yeah. um, I became quite overwhelmed just yeah. watching. Yeah. And uh, when I articulated that to everyone, I, I got quite emotional. So yeah. uh, it's pretty hard to manage. Yeah, but, uh, but by the end, I you find. and her were fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. no yeah. problems. And yeah. I feel much more confident now yeah. to be able to go and apply what we've learned today Great. myself. Brilliant. Well, well done. I can't wait to come back and see you when you're loading her up and driving off. Well done. <laughs> Fantastic.